my way to El Nido now. Just checked in for my Air Swift flight. <laughs> and I'm excited to go island hopping. So I will see you over there. After a truly magical week exploring Rambon province, I decided to make my way to the more popular, but definitely more famous and potentially more beautiful Palawan. My trip began in Puerto Princesa, but I didn't decide to start filming until I got to the main event, which for me was El Nido. I decided to take both island hopping tours A and B, and this video will show you the difference and my personal recommendation on which is better. Wow, this place is really beautiful. It's called El Nido Overlooking. It's like $125 per night. So I feel like for El Nido, it's probably not too bad, especially with a view like this. Kind of weird thing is there's no door to the toilet, but the weirdness is made up for with this super cool tub shower with a view of the islands out there. I wanted to be well rested for the tour the next day, so after arranging the tour with my hotel, El Nido Overlooking, I decided to call it a night after a relaxing sunset walk. Good morning! It's like 7 a.m. and I'm gonna do tour A today, but I'm gonna do it on a private boat <laughs> because I'm hoping that that will help me see some of these places without so many people. This is one of the nice things about being an adult. You can do things like that. Once we got to the beach, things were a little bit chaotic and we had to register first before we could get on the boat. So it took about an extra 15 minutes, but then we were able to get on and our trip began. The private tour I booked included five stops. For our first stop of the day, we went to the famous Big Lagoon. If you want to visit the Big Lagoon, these days you have to buy an additional permit, and that means applying ahead of time to get it, because this is such a popular place. That costs an extra 200 pesos, and if you want to get a kayak, that's another 250 but I thought the best way to experience the Blue Lagoon was to swim through it. After a relaxing swim, it is time to snorkel. Once I jumped into the water, I saw beautiful corals, much better than I had seen in Puerto Princesa. But my favorite part about the whole thing was the glittering school of fish that I could swim around and play with. And I even saw a sea turtle off the bow of the boat, but I wasn't quick enough to get the camera on it. Next, we made our way to the secret lagoon. I had to not quite swim, but squeeze through the hole to get inside. But once I did, we had it all to ourselves and I just couldn't believe how amazing that green water was and those incredible cliffs towering above me, making almost a perfect circle. And that's when the benefit of taking a private tour A became clear. to do the tour more or less out of order and that ended up being a really good idea because then we were able to get Seven Commandos Beach all to ourselves. Hello from Seven Commandos Beach. So it's been pretty good today as far as skipping the crowd. <laughs> so last island, last stop is Shimizu Island. We've done things kind of out of order in an effort to have smaller crowds. So that is next. See you there. Just 
finished up island hopping tour A and it was really beautiful, very busy, um, but still was able to get some stuff kind of all to ourselves and that was cool. I am kind of missing Romblon today though because, you know, in places that aren't as touristy, the people were just so nice there and I kind of missed that and it kind of feels like everything is nickel and dimed here and I don't know what the deal was but it didn't really matter how friendly or courteous I was to the boat people they just I don't know they didn't really seem that into what we were doing and they tried to cut off two stops and I had to be really insistent that I still wanted to do them from the tour so that was kind of weird from booking a private tour to have it go that way so it's kind of too bad. I think that there's probably like cool local things you can do here, but most people go island hopping because the cool stuff is out there. And so that's what I did today. And I just kind of wish it was a better experience, unfortunately. It was beautiful, but I just think it's maybe become so popular now that there's just a bit too much tourism and people are getting a little jaded, I don't know. But I'm gonna do another little island hopping thing tomorrow. It's my birthday and then take a kayak out on the last day and see how things are different because I picked tour B for tomorrow which should be less crowded so we'll see. Good morning. Any happy returns of the day as Winnie the Pooh would say. Gonna go on island hopping tour B today which might have fewer people. We will see. almost nobody else here so I think it worked to go on a less popular tour and this is a really pretty island. I'm gonna do a quick little flight. I opted for a private tour again today after seeing a bunch of people waiting for like an hour and a half yesterday on a group tour in the morning and I was just like no. I'm hoping for a better experience today. And then we came to the last stop of the day, which once again, for quite some time, we had totally to ourselves. It was a perfect little white sand beach enclave with some pretty cool snorkeling and to me, some of the coolest rock formations that we had seen in El Nido. 
So which tour is truly better, tour A or B? Now the benefit of tour B is that there were hardly any other people, especially since we did it in the reverse. Tour A is one of the most popular tours that they have in El Nido. However, I was such a big fan of the Big Lagoon, it's hard for me to really say that tour B was better. Now since I love having fewer crowds and I also love the Big Lagoon, in the end, I would actually recommend booking a private tour and doing a combination of both tours A and B. So pick your favorites from the ones that you've seen in this video and make your own custom tour. Or if you have enough time, honestly, go for both. I hope that you loved this video. If so, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and be sure to stay tuned for the next video when I take you to a secret treehouse on Koran.